Brexit and that Unilever, he has always to replenish in the market and he has made to stop it. Okay? في شركات كتير عندها ميك تو اوردر انت طلبت ده اصعب سبلاي تشين هو انجينير تو اوردر واول حاجه في منه ايه انجينير يعني تعاقد تمام انا في الموضوع خمسين بس ما تعرفوش انا تعرفت في الموضوع ده تمام فلما يكون في حاجه انجينير فيها كومبلكسيتي فيها تعقيد اوكي العميل في بروبس ليه ازاي يحقق ده عايز ليه ده قريب ازاي يحقق ده طب ما يبقاش كومبلكسيتي طب شيل انفورميشن ازاي يكون المهندس تو ستاندرايز وات هيز دوينج؟ هاو يو كان ميك بيبول ثينك ان ا سيستماتيك واي؟ ذا موست كومبلكس سبلاي تشين اون ايرث از اي تي او اند وي ار هابي تو هاف رينا بكرون شنايدر تو توك اباوت انجينيرز اوردر. جيف هير ا بيج وورد. ذا First of all, I need to thank uh, Sylvia's for allowing this opportunity to share the experience of China. Uh, actually, I'm not here to add uh, anything to the science of supply chain because we have the experts here. So, uh, first of all, I thank Sylvia's. Sylvia's is one of our partners in China Electric. Uh, Sylvia's worked with us a lot in uh, a lot of development projects, whether inside our factories or even with our suppliers. Um, uh, we have a huge uh, cooperation with them, and uh, thanks to their staff, we have knowledgeable staff. Shaheel uh, and David led on a lot of people from Schneider and uh, uh, Engineer Hussam Sabur and uh, Tariq Abani. These are the key dealers in Schneider that uh, helped create a lot of uh, generations in Schneider Electric that were able to carry on the progress. So uh, we end this service for that. The second thing, uh, I really thank uh, Schneider Electric because uh, when I remember how I joined Schneider as a simple supply chain manager, and uh, right now I see myself as a totally different person. And thanks to the onboardment of Schneider and the science that I have learned in Schneider about supply chain. It's exactly as uh, Shaheen said, uh, our supply chain is a bit complex, it's engineered to order is how to manage your customer. Uh, everything is from the scratch. We have designed to approve from the customer. The customer has to review and has to approve. And after the approval of the design, we have also had factory acceptance test. So uh, everything we have to be on time in order not to lose the credibility with the customer. And our customers are key and critical. It's not only for the sake of boasting over that we're delivering on time to our customer, but sometimes we have a social responsibility toward our customer because the end user is a hospital, the end user is um, an electric substation, water substations, so uh, the on time delivery is not an option. And we are all in the, uh, in the work of how to deliver, how to deliver, how to deliver. And uh, finally, I need uh, to thank uh, my husband, who is here with me, Dr. Hany Hassan, and who is all the time supporting me. Uh, especially that we have uh, very few domains in Egypt in the supply chain management, so it's a big, a hectic domain, and it's very rare to find a female there. I remember that I used to stay a lot in the factory until 8 or 9 p.m., even in the workshop itself. Uh, we have, I have some of my colleagues, Sam Khalid, who is meeting the DC, and Hamad Ya'qub, who led with us the logistics. So uh, we are staying there, and we're happy that we are there, because at the end, we need to deliver. Thank you all.
supply chain because it's, uh, it's a transformation journey that uh, Schneider is going on uh, drastically nowadays. Uh, so I think it will be used the support of Apex before and I think that we, uh, you have uh, attended with us the deployment of uh, the sport in Schneider. So, uh, Uh, so today I'm going to speak about uh, the supply chain utilization and uh, how we're going to move. Uh, first, I'm going to share the vision of Schneider for the digitization and uh, this transformation uh, journey. Second, uh, I'm going to choose some uh, two initiatives uh, that we have used to share the best practice in it. And finally, I'm going to speak about the two actual projects that we used to have challenges in and how we went through them. Okay, so why supply chain uh, digitization? Schneider believes that the digitization is no longer a first mover advantage. It's, it's becoming element and it is uh, what makes one company different from the other is how digitization is becoming part of the DNA of the company. So it's an industry standard. Why is an industry standard? It has to do with streamlining the business process and at the same time being competitive. Digitization is one of the key pillars that keeps the company really competitive in everything, whether on lead time, whether on cost optimization, whether on, on time delivery. Accordingly, so uh, how can we see this? We see digitization as supporting the customer centric by delivering smarter and highly efficient by giving us a predictive business. So through digitalization, we're able to have higher visibility on capturing the customer demand in a proper and a highly scientific way and to market trends as well. And finally, last but not least, it supports, of course, the optimized cost. This is our end-to-end uh, -end transformation uh, journey that we are currently following in China. So on top, on top of the pyramid, we have the customer. Our enablers are first of all people, their skills, their competences, and their engagement, as some of my colleagues have highlighted. We don't, this is uh, any company, what distinguishes a company from another is the human resources. So uh, it gives a huge importance to the people, the skills, their competency, their engagement, and how to develop a digital mindset. It's taking us long to move from following up on the paper and on Excel towards getting an alarm that you have a problem, you have a disruption in the supply chain of this project. It's no longer depending on the memory of the buyer buying in, but it is more and more enhancing the image or the concept of digitalization in the mindset of the people to help them invest time to onboard themselves on the process, on an electronic process that supports them to, uh, to forecast the disruption in the supply chain. The second enabler, of course, is the end-to-end -end digital visibility, which the digitalization is giving to us. And in the middle of the pyramid, we are focusing on sustainability and having sustainable or reduced CO2. This is what Schneider is looking for right now, how to reduce the emission of CO2, not only in the products that we introduce to the market, but as well even in the packaging with the, with the freight forwarders. We are now asking the freight forwarders about the percent of emission. We seem to be alien, especially in Egypt, when we ask the freight forwarders, tell me about the CO2 emission, because I have a rule that we should not, uh, that I should not go beyond this in your, uh, in your, in our usage of freight. At the beginning, the question seemed to be a rocket science, but now our freight for workers got used to this question from our uh, transporting uh, people. And for us, again, it was it took us a lot, and it's taking us a lot to change the mindset of the people to understand how we want to act as green. It is. Uh, a charter that we have signed with the United Nations that we as Schneider are going to support in being green to the environment. <clears throat> and of course, uh, we have 
lower total cost to serve and reliable OTD. Before we used to measure our OTD and we used all the time to be 96% on time delivery and we have a customer that is complaining behind it. Uh, right now we're pushing a lot to link the physical flow with the digital one to support us to have a real and accurate OTD. And this is becoming very, very critical, especially during these days, as most of our colleagues, my colleagues have mentioned, that we have a disrupted uh, supply chain. We have disrupted transportation fees. We have a lot of things that is resulting from COVID-19. So our mission, as we mentioned, is to create competitive advantage, and we have targeted seven pillars. Our distribution centers and each market. Uh, how do we sell to the customer? We sell it through two uh, modules. Either we sell it through our uh, project and services department, which is uh, a, a project that is a third key project, or we sell it through the distribution center. We're not dealing with the customers directly. Accordingly, the DCs for us as Schneider is very critical. And it is one of the pillars that we are targeting in our end-to-end uh, -end transformation journey is to digitize and optimize our distribution center footprint. This is one of the key priorities by giving absolute efficiency and agility to our customer because this is the first uh, door in front of our customer. The second thing is the, the transportation. Again, it is to digitize optimize the transportation. Nowadays, we are facing a lot of problems, and we're struggling, and I will not pause to say, ah, khalas, we finished, and we know what to do. Still, we are struggling, and we're trying to uh, have lessons learned, we turn on experience, and then we go ahead to adjust our mindset to see how to do, because every day up till now, the COVID, this is the second year for the COVID, but we're still facing totally new problems open new challenges and that is why transport, Schneider Electric has put transport as one of the main focus for the development of the journey of transport. The following uh, is a tailored supply chain specifically for the feed service operation. Why? During COVID-19 we had drastic complaints from our sites, the feed service operation at sites. It's not only because of our functionality, but our customer and end user were suffering. You have all of a sudden problems at a hospital. And the hosp we all know the high importance of a hospital. When we know that the hospital is totally stopped because it is suffering from something, uh, uh, an electricity substation. So now the field service operation is becoming, again, on equal foot with our manufacturing facilities. Previously, Schneider was so much keen on developing its manufacturing facilities. Now, the field service operation is now on equal foot, or even we are giving it higher importance during this period. So, one of the priorities of Schneider right now is how to find a tailored supply chain for the field service operation and how to serve them on time. Specifically, that the type of product for us is an on shelf product. It's an ETO inside a site that is stopping and needs our immediate intervention. Then we have uh, data analytics, and then we know that data analytics is a very critical enabler for our transformation. We are deploying a lot of initiatives in data analysis in order to accelerate the decision making and in order to make us digital. I will share some, uh, something regarding data analytics, how Schneider developed it, and we are still developing in order to make a decision as immediate as possible. Then, procurement management. We know that we cannot achieve any journey right now in our transformation without being in partnership with our supplier. We found, at some cases, that we are not in science compared to a supplier that is very critical to us, but his delivery process is very uh, basic and it is not supporting us. So 
we cannot move in the transformation journey without transforming our food suppliers, without knowing first who are our food suppliers, without effecting the transformation. Sometimes we are doing that transformation at our supplier side at our own expenses because it is key and critical to us, especially nowadays for the subcontractors. We used to face a lot of accidents in our sites because the subcontractor culture is totally different from the culture of Schneider and we are taking it for granted that, that the subcontractor will do this and that at site, but he is not. So the procurement management as well is one of the seven pillars that we are targeting in the transformation here in Germany. And to end control tower, I saw the control tower here, so I'm sorry I didn't attend uh, at early. And uh, I don't know if you have spoken about it or not, but it is one of the key enablers to us in the process. And we discussed how we deployed the control tower and how it supported us to forecast the disruption in the supply chain process. And finally, is the supply chain logistics and planning organization capability. As again, as mentioned by the majority of our people here, resources is the main pillar toward accelerating the transformation period. We are looking drastically on the organization chart of Schneider, specifically on the supply chain organization, and as well on the leadership of the supply chain organization to change the mindset from being analog to going digital. And to have the supply chain leader who is staying in France or in Europe or in US acting the same as the one who is staying in Africa or uh, in Egypt or anywhere. It's a transformation to the mindset of the people regardless of the culture or the environment our organization is in. If I'm too quick, please uh, tell me. <clears throat> then, finally, it's all about end-to-end -end process. What is the integrators and what is the deliverables? Reliability and efficiency to customer, and our deliverable here is to create a digital acumen. A digital acumen people who know quite well how to take decisions, how to see a visibility, how the sales guy, the sales colleague can go to the right market and in support of the company strategy. A culture of embedded agility is to create an agile mindset supporting a world of change. A world of change is no longer something that unpredictable or something that is abnormal. Now change became the norm of our life, especially in supply chain. Future ready and engaged talent. Again, here we are focusing so much right now on creating a career pipeline of confidences for the future how to prepare a pipeline of talent even for the future. Right now we are suffering because we are doing transformation. We need people who are already uh, well oriented and well educated on what we are doing. And that is why Schneider now is having what is called Schneider University. And Schneider University is not a complete building that people can enter from the gate and come out. Schneider University is available for all the employees and it is mandatory for an employee to have his bonus is to complete the studies that Schneider has entailed to him. And right now I'm not to be promoted except by having specific certification in key domains to us. We have a university for the project management, a university for the supply chain, and that is why Schneider is keen on promoting the SD graduates the Schneider Electric Graduate people. And finally, leadership and the transformation. It's so much important to give you attention to the leaders. Who are the leaders that are leading the transformation? And are they up to the level or not? We used to have leaders who have very high experience, but their, their, their mindset is not that only to, they, were, they failed to upgrade themselves. Their experience is very high, they have a very good name in the market, but in comparison to some uh, people who are in the 20s, sometimes Schneider goes to the 20s, people in the 20s, we 
because of their being digital acumen and having a strategic mindset that could lead the company further and further. And we are there to answer to our people why I'm not promoted. Do not promote it because still you need to change your mindset. So I'm going to share right now some initiatives that we deployed in Schneider. Uh, first is procurement. Uh, and in procurement, I'm going to share two things about um, SSP SRM and the six month bankers program. So uh, we have created right now a portal for SSP SRM for the uh, supplier relationship management where the interaction with the supplier is now all gathered in one platform and one portal for the supplier. So once the supplier is on this portal, we are dealing with him in all the aspects and in all domains. Again, Schneider is fighting against sending emails to supplier, sending the uh, drawings to the supplier by email, sharing contact, uh, contracts by the email, and when uh, the buyer has left or anything or due to COVID or whatever is there, everything is stopped. No, Schneider is now putting everything, gathering all the relations with the supplier over one platform. And this, the supplier who wants to continue with Schneider, he has to ensure that he has a key access to the SSP SRM of Schneider. What do we do uh, with the suppliers over this platform? We are managing company data and contacts, and so when the supplier is changing his bank details or whatever, we don't rely on him notifying us. He need to notify the worker that there are some changes in his contact and it sends notification to the buyer and the finance that we have something here with the supplier, something has changed, and we need to open the platform to see. We are sharing documents, we are sharing shop drawings, we are sharing data sheets, everything through the platform, no longer by email. We're answering surveys. So, if we have, uh, after the finish of the projects, the buyer is sending to the project manager or sending to the technical leader or any of the stakeholders to have a survey about the performance of the supplier. And so right now it's very easy. So, uh, in Egypt, for example, we have created a supply chain uh, uh, department that is working remotely for the projects in France. So it is no longer that we have a supply chain staying in France hand in hand with the project management. We no longer need it. We're working remotely. So it is very easy that the buyer is sending to the stakeholder a question and a survey about the performance of the supplier and asking him his reply and sharing this with the supplier. We are no longer bounded by geography. It is a platform that we are dealing with each other and the supplier could be someone from Kuala Lumpur and we are staying in France and he's giving the service and we're able to audit him and to assess his performance. Again, maintaining contracts, sharing contracts with the supplier, viewing dashboards, to alert the procurement and to alert the stakeholder about some KPI, some key performance indicators, answering resource events uh, to uh, buy through e reverse auctions, so through electronic auction, calling on the suppliers from different countries to participate in, in an order, for, for example, in a third country that has nothing to do with neither the project manager, neither the factory itself nor the buyer, but it has to do with the location of the project. So we are now doing uh, this year reverse auction and buying through it and enhancing the procurement to go over it. Managing performance as well of the suppliers, it is no longer by the simple calculation of the extension of the quality given, but over KPIs coming sometimes from the control tower, coming sometimes from the ERP, control and to monitor the performance of the supplier. Sharing innovation ideas, uh, we started doing summits to have innovative ideas by the suppliers. So we are calling on events virtually, asking the suppliers to come and support by their ideas on how to develop 
the uh, Schneider, one of Schneider products, and sharing with them and having this all through the platform of the SSPSRM and many others. So uh, again, it's a world of digitization that we're trying to do. It's not an easy journey. And we ourselves as Schneider are not taking it as a piece of cake, but still we can see that it has a very high competitive edge. So, uh, so Schneider is now moving from multiple solutions to one homogeneous platform. We used to have Box, we used to have DocuSign, Ariba, all this now ended, and it is one platform for the SSP SRM. So we're moving from multiple solutions to one platform to manage everything as a relationship with the supplier. The second program that we deployed Again, as I uh, mentioned at the beginning, is the, uh, is the site's activity. We have uh, managed to deploy a safe uh, subcontractor program because we used to have uh, several uh, site uh, incidents at, uh, at a critical time and it used to give a bad image, it used to harm our people, to harm the uh, subcontractor people, so we deployed what is called Safe Subcontractors Program. What is this Safe Subcontractors Program? It's uh, a platform where we ask the subcontractor to apply for, we, we will not issue a purchase order except when you are green. And what do we mean by green? That you pass over all the audits that will be done and the audits are no longer physical. We have agreed with a third, with a third, uh, a third uh, party to review with us the documents that are presented by the subcontractor. So the subcontractor needs to enter, needs to make a self-assessment to himself, and need to present the documents about his uh, processes, about his quality, about his health and safety, about his near miss, and a lot of things he needs to present to this. After that, the portal gives his decision, and this is based on compliance, the percent of compliance of what the subcontractor has in, in uh, persons what Schneider health and safety and quality people have given and uh, to give the results. Why this? Because in many countries our health and safety department and our quality department were not present and we were obliged to go by luck with the subcontractor. So right now, even wherever the sign is, and wherever the subcontractor is, and even if Schneider is not present at that site, we ask the subcontractor to go to this uh, platform to apply to it and as well to give him our final feedback. If he is green, then the purchase order is issued to him. If not, we need to, con we need to ask him to finalize and to close the gaps. How was this efficient for us? Even in the follow-up with the subcontractor, it is no longer us following up with the subcontractor. The platform is giving a date to give to the subcontractor. Take care, you are five days due to the uh, action plan that you have taken. So you need to finalize it after five days, after two days, and there is an alert being given to him, and it is no longer Schneider employee contacting the subcontractor for that. Um, of course, this served a lot in our projects, eliminated a number of site accidents. We were able to meet the customer's expectations. We were able even to enhance the process of the subcontractor, our subcontractor, and to give them a word of signs and how to support them. Of course, they are not left alone. They are not left alone with the system. We are giving them a contact for the health and safety and for the quality to act as their consultant to support them. Now we started to have the testimony of some of our subcontractors that it was an added value for them not only to have a purchase order with us but to develop the process as well which is a kind of a social responsibility that Schneider is seeing towards the countries they are working in. I will go very quickly because she is telling uh, to finalize. The control tower. Uh, I will go very quickly in the control tower. So what is the control tower? It is linking the physical flow with the digital one. So the control tower, it uses to go over our links with the ERP, with 
the different ERPs, of course, in Schneider, one of the challenges that we still have, we have different versions of ERP based on the country where Schneider is found. So right now, through the control tower, it is taking data from the ERP, giving alerts to the supply chain team. Take care, we issued the purchase order, but we did not receive the order acknowledgement up right now, so don't feel relaxed that the uh, supplier is manufacturing. We didn't receive an order acknowledgement. Ah, you received the order acknowledgement, but you need to follow up with the supplier on the delivery because the delivery date has come. So it issues a report to the buyer and as well to the manufacturing facility until we are able to deliver. So it's a journey from the source till the delivery. And it's covering cross-functional teams, uh, processes, and the tools. Again, we say we are by this able to link between the physical flow that is on the ground and the digital one by acting more and pro being uh, not acting by being proactive to the disruption that we are having in the supply chain through the alerts, the digital alerts that the control tower is giving to us and helping the supply chain team work in advance and not in a reactive but in a proactive model in order to have a perfect order execution. Okay, and now I'm going to share two projects uh, about challenges that we faced uh, in two projects and that will be the end of my presentation. Okay, so during COVID-19, of course, we faced a lot of challenges in the transportation. We had a complete lockdown or port congestion, or we had blank sailing equipment and availability to ship, and freight rates going uh, sky high. We used to have as well some uh, uh, non-sustainability in the supply chain because even if we were able to adjust our uh, supply chain process, we used to face at the last moment that the supplier is not ready to deliver because he had a disruption, he has a missing material. So we faced a lot and we're still facing a lot in the supply chain during for the COVID-19. So uh, here are some of the projects. And one of the thing, one of the tools that supported us during the past period is we depended on a tool. We made an account that actually was not Schneider tool. Yes, where we are uh, putting the, the port name uh, of the, or as the origin and the destination because uh, we used to face something, a uh, uh, disruption that we are unable to reach the port of destination of the customer because in the middle there is a transit uh, ports that are closed and we are unable to manage this route. So we referred it to electronic uh, website to guide us if we need to reach the end point and if this route is not available, we can change the route from this route to another route. It will take this tea time and then it is left to the logistician to check because the freight forwarder used not to give us a lot of solutions. We used to stay cold handed, so we used to turn around the solution in order to reach to our customer. So uh, this is one of the projects that we used to have in uh, Dubai, in United Arab Emirates. It was for the supply of an e-house. Let me explain very quickly what we mean by e-house. It's a building that is made of metal, where we as Schneider put inside it a lot of our components, transformers, uh, uh, breakers, and a lot of our components, and it is fully delivered, fully equipped to the site. Usually it is used by the oil and gas, so uh, one of the key projects to us, it was uh, for BDP, uh, I think I remember, and we used to have a new house. The weight of it is 105 ton, and it was uh, 22 length and 5 meter high. Uh, at the last moment, after uh, agreeing with the customer on the route, there was a disruption. There was one of the routes that was closed due to COVID-19 and inability of the workers to sustain the port. So at the last moment it was changed and BP was telling us, I don't care, you have to deliver. So uh, we went over uh, a lot of surveys, we made a lot of uh, uh, road, road surveys in order to know how to reach a 
and as well depending on uh, sea rates and how to plan our cargo until uh, we were able finally to deliver. And we delivered through a transportation solution. So that was the flow of the project. The uh, supplier of the e-cops was located in Dubai, but there are uh, tools and equipment that used that have to be integrated in the e-house coming from Turkey and from Egypt. So we have to deliver the components from uh, Turkey and Egypt to Dubai. We delivered them by sea freight. And then from Dubai, we started seeing we have a big, a big building that needs to be moved, an elephant building that has to be moved. So we charted it through a general vessel from Dubai until Bahrain. And from Bahrain, we took a barge to go to the jetty of Babcock. And from Babcock, we took a track until we were able to reach the customer. It could seem simple in the drawing, but it was not at all. Uh, at, the, at the ground, that was the final solution that we, able, we were able to give. But it took us a lot of uh, effort and in a very little time. We had to find our way in two weeks' time. And every leg in this has its own challenge or has its own challenge because of the oversight of the equipment that we have. That was uh, some photos of the building that we moved. Another project, it was, uh, it was the site activities. <laughs> Again, uh, Schneider faced shortages in its uh, workforce. It used to have the people having COVID-19 or being linked with people who used to have COVID-19 and they are no longer present and they cannot go to the site by Schneider rules for the health and safety. What will we do when our sites stop? Of course, no. So we had to resort to outsource uh, the, from the subcontractors. The subcontractors are suffering the same as Schneider. The, the, the workforce is there, but some of them could be infected, some could be mingling with the infection, and Schneider has its own rules. You cannot access to the site without fully uh, helping to do the job. So this led to a huge demand in our sites. It's very few uh, workforce able to work, neither at Schneider nor at our subcontractors. So we had to find a way out. We did what is called the reverse auction. And in, uh, we were able in 30 minutes to sign contracts to several subcontractors by calling, asking several subcontractors to join us on the URL. It's uh, an online bidding to submit their offers and to sign that they are complying to Schneider rules and to go and bid among them again electronically and digitally and after 30 minutes and what we were surprised is a huge reduction in the cost of the subcontractor because the supplier in the e-bidding is seeing himself now I'm in rate one perfect after few seconds the tool tell him come on you are in rate three there is someone who decreased his price and so you are no longer in rate rank one you are in rank three so he reduces his price in order to be able to go to rank one. This type of negotiation used to take months from us to convince the subcontractor originally that he has a competitor and to convince him to reach to the targeted price. In 30 minutes, we were able to reduce the price drastically and we were able to sign contracts and trade agreements with qualified subcontractors that supported our margin and as well avail uh, alternative resources for us. I think that's it. Any questions? Thank you.